What's up enthusiasts? This is part one of the Caliburn live build. Now this is something that was live stream a couple weeks ago and I wanted to post it up for all of you that weren't able to watch it live to see it but I'm breaking it down into easier to watch portions rather than three and a half hours of one long build. So hopefully that works for all of you. And real quick before we get into this, I do want to apologize for the audio quality. I had the wrong mic selected in my recording and streaming software, so the sound is not where I would like it to be, and my apologies about that, but it will be fixed in the future live stream. So I hope you enjoy part one. All right, so what is up, everybody? How are you guys doing? We are building a, building a Caliburn today. Thank you all for being here and hanging out. I should say we're building we're building a Fabu Burn. I am, oh, I love this. I love this. It's so good. Thank you so, so much, Captain Slug. All right, so we've got a ton of components here. Maybe we should start with sorting through all of this, yeah? That might be, might be a smart idea. The rod is number five holes. Okay, so pieces. I believe that is that? No. Okay, we got this. Got this piece going on here. This has to be, right? That has to be. But this is not square. No, this is the front. This is the front. Oh, I thought this was gonna be orange. Okay. Well that changes things. Um where is that piece? There you are. There is the piece. Okay. This is going to be an exercise in, in understanding how bad I am or unknowledgeable I am when it comes to these kinds of things. Like I, I have not invested too heavily into this side of the hobby, into the building and construction and, and things like that. I focus mostly on the playing and the gear and that side. So this is my first venture into doing this kind of thing uh, or you know even starting to grasp beyond a basic understanding of what each component is and what they do and all that uh, so I assume we're talking about this so we want what colors did I get alpha call I got the fabu colors of course what else could we get I'll make a tier zero stripe. You just have no idea where to buy the motors. Uh, Nolan, I would recommend currently buying motors from Foam Blast or MTB. And they both have resellers through companies like Containment Crew, um, Kelly Industries, and uh, other similar places like that. Um, those are what I would recommend. Batteries you can get through Hobby King. There's a lot of good resources out there. Uh, let's put the big barrel on the back so nothing else falls off the end, because that would be bad. Uh, creation, uh-oh. Straight strings. Were you talking about that? You, you did a... In your last video, Bradley, you did, like, no strings or something like that, which seemed like it still worked decently. Yeah, thanks, Nathan, man. I, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit overwhelmed by this build because I am so inexperienced in building things like this. But it should be interesting and I should learn a lot from it. So, what we were supposed to do, we were supposed to ch check all of the through holes of your printed parts for tolerance by trying to insert the threaded rod into the number five holes. All right, the threaded rod is, I assume, this, because it's threaded and it's a rod. That would be logical, but you know, uh, can't own a semi-auto rifle, let on a full. Yeah, yeah. Australia uh, has some pretty strict, pretty strict rules, which is a good thing. It's a good thing, I think, that they have they have strict gun control, especially with everything going on here in America. Uh, it's just it's crazy. Okay, bits, and last one. Uh, fit, fit, kind of fit. Oh, okay, there was some residual like 3D print stuff in there that we had to poke out. All right, so those those are good. Ah, oh, the fabric colors. I know Albacol. How 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 can people not like the fabric color scheme? It's it's just so pretty. Any holes will not accept. We drilled tolerance. Okay. 
writing support material, which we just did. Uh, all right, one sixteenth Allen. Now this is metric, so we're gonna we're gonna have to experiment on which which one of these Allen keys is the proper one. But here we go. Now the interesting part begins. Oh, did he already assemble this for me? I think he already assembled it for me. That I don't think you guys can really see that, but. <laughs> It looks like he did part of the work for me. I think. All right. Well, good work, us. Good work, us. We're uh, we're on it. First step down. Uh, Picatinny rail. Yeah. So he used Picatinny instead of Nerf rail, and he put a. Uh, I forget the name of these, but he put one of the guards or the the rubber guard on it, which is is nice until I put a proper like AFG or something to grip on it because uh, I don't think I'm gonna stick with justice I think I'm gonna I'm think I'm gonna put a some kind of vertical or, or angle grip on it he doesn't trust me probably a smart move probably a smart move to be completely honest and I uh, I thank him for that uh, Alpha Call, we do our wars in uh, the Bay Area we are in the Bay Area there's a lot of different games here in the Bay Area which is really cool favorite nerf blaster would be the nerf secret shot the original one from the 90s. Tell the next time to apply a spot of super glue onto the end to prevent it from backing off the thread. Set aside with the glue drew draw. Drive fully. Did he glue this? I don't. Okay. Uh, did I leave the super glue in the house? I left the super glue in the house. Shoot. Uh, we've been live for like 15 minutes, Bradley. So no, you're not. You're gonna miss anything. Rail covers. There, it's such a simple thing to call them, Phil. That's that's why I couldn't remember. I don't know if he glued this or not. I don't know if I want to glue more on it. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Now the bolt. All right, we got a bolt. Here are the shock pads. So a shock pad would be, let's go ahead and take the butt pad out. Ooh, that's, is this MC foam? Microcell? Feels like a decent foam. Uh, that looks like a nightmare. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I, I am so inexperienced. It's going to be interesting. I'm sure I'm going to get a little bit frustrated here and there when I make mistakes because it's inevitable for me. I'm good at making mistakes. Uh, all right, so this goes on? It's supposed to go on? Do I need to sand this? Okay, that's... Ah, there's... Oh, let me just drop and the mic. Let me move that. All right, so yeah, there's some gunk in here. I think removing that will help. Really should have grabbed like a one of those like hand file things are. Is that really like does not wanna that really doesn't want to go in. Such an inspiration as I drop pieces and have no understanding of what I'm doing. The stream is over, let's all go home, yeah. Oh man. Alright. I really should have gotten like a hand file or something. All right, okay, that's lined up, I think, for the most part it is. Got this like holes here that we have to line up. So that's uh, anything Nerf around Pennsylvania. So clowny, I don't know. Brass Breach, ooh, nice Bradley, that'll be cool. Look forward to seeing how that goes for you. Oh, okay, shoot, <laughs> this piece goes on. After the other piece, oh, I have to take it off. Okay, so this, this goes on first, and this goes on this way, and that pops on over like that. Okay, there's something on here. Let's piece of like flash or something. Let's take pliers if I can pull that off. It's like an adhesive or something stuck on there. 
Well, hopefully I didn't just take something off that needed to be there, but it did not look like it belonged there. So, uh, well, what's done is done. RC Master, built your own caliber and kelp. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure I will make plenty of errors as we go along here. Is this man's <laughs> All right. Uh, Alpha Call, our nerf force, if you search up uh, like Bay Area nerf on Meetup or like Bay Area nerf on Facebook, you'll find the groups. There's like a, a space here between. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like it's not going all the way flush, and I don't know if it's supposed to or not. I hear the shock pad centered on the back of the ram. Slide a skirt seal onto the ram from the front so that it's facing backwards. Then slide bolt one from the front as well. Make sure that the holes in bolt one and ram line up. So let's put this back on. My day job is trying to get physically healthy because I am not uh, healthy. I'm dealing with some health issues that have led to anxiety issues. Uh, so I had to actually stop working a while back, which really sucks. Uh, so yeah, I have been just focusing on trying to get healthy. And I feel like this is supposed to be flush because I can't get the holes to line up on this. It doesn't need to be flush. So my concern is these holes are not lining up now. You're not going to be able to see that most likely. You can kind of see through it. I guess if I push hard enough, they line up. That's going to put pressure on us. Ah, well, interesting. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I have a shock pad here. Let's see. Let's see. Did you build the prophecy? Uh, I cannot afford the prophecy, unfortunately. Um, prophecy is super cool for sure. Don't get me wrong. But I cannot afford a couple hundred bucks for another Springer Blaster. Prophecy does look nice, though. That is true. All right. So yeah, this is this is the piece we put on, I have to assume. It's the only thing that makes sense. Like, there's literally nothing else. So yeah, I'm going to put this on here. Caps out at 200. Yeah. I mean, most games around here don't go over that. Unless you're running, like, uh, Thundercrunk's bow that he can tune up or tune down to, to awesome levels. Uh, Southeast Asian Toys R Us branch is still... Yes, Uyama. Um, international, so overseas from the U.S. Only U USA and Canadian um, Toys R Us are affected by the bankruptcy. The Asian Toys R Us and European Toys R Us chains are owned by different companies. Or in California, Alpha. I think I said that earlier. I'm going to put RS internals into a prophecy shell. That's, you know what? I kind of dig that idea. I kind of dig that idea. Why not? I like the idea of putting things into things that are not what you expect. It's not quite perfect, and that kind of bothers me a little bit, but we're just going to have to, we're just going to have to do it. I have to go with it. Play 250 FPS limited. Yeah, so we have, rather, the way our, our games here, at least for burn work, is there's no FPS cap. No FPS cap, it's just a dart restriction. Um, no homemade, no half length, no, uh, like, dangerous darts, essentially, uh, as well. But uh, we had people innovate and get figure things out to be able to go over 200 FPS with full length darts. So I think we're good on this. I think I think this piece is done. Fingers crossed. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, wouldn't fit. Oh, I mean that's not surprising considering it, you you need to fit the entire pusher box or pusher mac and all that stuff in there as well, which is new. All right. So we need. Bolt arms here. All right. Are they? It looks like they're smooth out on both sides. It doesn't matter. 
that side looks prettier, and uh, I guess that side looks prettier. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. All right. So we put flywheels inside a springer shell like a retaliator. Uh, if they can fit it, then yeah. I think things like that are cool. All right, shoo. There. And this goes... Right, let's, let's, do, let's do this. This goes like this, right? These go through here. Is that a panic tag stuff? I I'm so sorry, Nolan. Like it's it's not fun. It's not fun at all because it completely can take over your life in the worst possible ways. Um, all right, and the ram assembly is secured with a 440 screw and hex nut. What? Oh oh, this goes here. I see. Wait, what? Does that go? Okay, okay. Clearly, I'm I'm a little bit of a fool. All right. Uh, so I need a screw. Don't know. Doing bullpup stripe. Those are those. It seems like they're getting more and more popular. Is this? No, that's too small. Is it? No, maybe that's right. Maybe that's right. 440 screw. I wish. So here's something that bothers me. You've got this nice screw head. Like you get this super tiny, but like, why don't they put the, the size on the top of the screw head? Why don't they do that? Like it's just this, this flat, this open surface area that's just begging for something on it. It'll be so easy to be like, I don't know. I don't know. And just, just like minor gripes about things. Eh. Let's see if I can get this on screen. Is this working? All right. No? Maybe? Yes? No? Ah, work! I don't think it's quite... Yeah, it's not quite matched. It's M3. Oh, lock tight that thing. <laughs> All right. PDF instruction open. Thank you for going along with me. It just is not wanting to. Okay, maybe if I go this way and hold here and push, maybe then I can get this through. Because it's, it's definitely going in at an angle. It's definitely going in at an angle here. Uh, and that is, well, it's not good. <laughs> you need to go straight through. Can we get there? Uh, where to buy F10555 worker stuff in Thailand? Uh, I would assume Taobao is still the best option, especially since you're closer in terms of shipping. Okay, so it seems like it's offset almost, like this, like the, um, the RAM here needs to be in a different place. Oh, oh, okay, let's not lose that. It's mildly important. More wiggling, <laughs> very scientific. We're gonna be very. We're just gonna wiggle it until it works. All right. Just trying to line this up, even remotely close, so I can get this in and going. Get in the hole. I feel like Happy Gilmore, like yelling at a golf ball. Are you too good for your home? Um, all right, so we need tiny, tiny Allen wrench. Hopefully this one's tiny enough. Is it tiny enough? No, no, it is not. Tinier. The tiniest. 
And any, any blasters with great triggers in Thailand? I, ooh, I don't know. Okay. Hopefully we're not structurally messing anything up. Uh, you know, why am I worried about this piece right now when I could just be worried about... I'm so silly. I just focus on lining up these and then... Oh, almost fell out of my seat. Tap the bolt first. I do not have anything that can really tap the bolt. So we pretty much relegated to driving this through. Any wars in the San Diego area? Uh, if I remember correctly, Armageddon is in Southern California. Uh, as for like regular, or, like super stock wars, uh, I don't know. It is not David. The stand-up desk is actually there. Uh, Monkey Munch shipped to Thailand. I would have. I would think so, Oyama. I would think so. All right. Just keep pushing this and hoping this works. Hopefully, I'm not screwing everything up right off the bat. Once a year, yeah. That is unfortunately the case with Armageddon. Nerve Seeker, just trying to get this in here. Get it. I'm applying pressure to the, the screws that's going in to try and keep it on a straight trajectory. And it appears to be working for the most part. Fingers crossed I'm not completely botching this whole thing right now. Tap, take the bolt and screw it in, then unscrew by three-fourths. Interesting. Dot pre-order Cita. I want to see your hand. Yeah, Jordan, I, I, I think the Cita is really cool, too. I love the way it breaks down and how easy it is to break it down. I think that is absolutely wonderful. Um, still interested some Chaos Mags. I need to finish the Chaos I have. I need to finish the paint job on it. I'm, I'm being taunted by it. It's in the background on the pegboard right now. And it's driving me crazy because I don't... I can't come to a, a, a consensus on the way I want the, the Fabu Chaos to look. And it's, it's driving me crazy. Like I thought I had it figured out and then I started questioning it, questioning it. And now I'm... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. So as soon as I get it painted... I can pop the internals, and that's going to be another stream, uh, because the wonderful Michelle from Foam Blast actually wired up the internals for me, which was crazy generous of her. Uh, and so I have them sitting here, and I'm, I'm excited to use them. So I may be getting in contact with you about some, some mags you still have some in the future, but I don't know when that'll be. Tiger Foam, what's up? How are you doing tonight? Or today for you. Squiggles, what's up? It is nice seeing you outside of uh, Discord. Uh, the perfectly safe half-length darts. Uh, we don't currently. We don't currently allow half-length darts because the actual, like, safe half-length darts that are being company-made now are a relatively new thing. And Burn has been on a bit of a... Uh, a hiatus lately so we haven't really been playing a ton and that's the thing so we're not we haven't gotten to test kind of half-length darts though we do have um some people around here that are trying to start something tonticles or tonticles i don't i don't actually know how he prefers to have his name his username said uh but he is trying to start some uh nic style stuff here how do I put this on? Like this this nut. How do I I have it tells me I need a, a three three eighths wrench. That that that's clearly not for this. It's clearly 
clearly not for that little nut. Um, what can I use? Uh, getting rival stuff, or you should stick with darts. Since rival is pretty expensive, so no, we were talking about this in the in the Discord earlier. Rival is um, it's great for close range. Like you just you feel like an absolute boss at close range. Uh, you need to have some sort of secondary to supplement that for longer and mid range, though. Um, all right, that's kind of. How do I really want to secure this more? Oh, shoot. Phil is in here. Okay. Uh, Phil, if you don't mind, if you are still in here, would you mind uh, letting people know in my Discord that we went live? I posted in the Nerf Discord, but not in my own Discord because I, I totally spaced out. <sighs> pliers. Thank you. That is That must be what the pliers were. Or four. That would make sense. You guys are so much smarter than me, and I gotta get accustomed to this layout so I'm actually doing things on screen and you can see them. Okay. Looks like we're almost. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. All right, let's see. Can we go much tighter? I don't, I don't want to over-tighten this, so I think we're going to leave it there. Like, there's a bit more I can go, but I'm always afraid of over-tightening and, like, bad things happening. Super glue that nut. Uh, install the O-ring. Apply super glue to the hex nut and let it dry. Okay, uh, what am I gluing again? I'm gluing this. Just a dab. A dab will do. A dab will do you, I think. I hope. Uh, hopefully, that's enough. I didn't put. I mean, I put the smallest of amounts. Like, I don't think you guys can even see it. Hopefully. I mean, it's. Yeah. We're going to leave it as is. We can always add more later, because I think we can pull this assembly out. Man, Brad and Tiger and all you guys overseas, uh, you guys seem to love the jet stuff, like the Omni or the, uh, the Alpha kits and all that. Um, I'm really, really curious. I, I can't warrant spending money on the Katana mags right now as much as I want to try them out. Uh, because the only blaster I have that will be able to put them to use is the Caliburn, assuming I can put it together properly. Uh, but I am curious about their stuff, like their Omni or their Alpha kits and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I may I may try them in the future. I, I'm guessing I don't need this second nut because I, literally there was no space for it. The ZRO is something that I thought was really interesting. I actually that's the, like one of the things that I was like I very curious about that, but. Heath, Heath has a really cool design for a scar barrel that I'm 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 curious about. Okay, so twelve O ring, which I am going to venture a guess is this little guy here. Uh, to the undercut in the ram, set the assembly aside temporarily where the glue dries. Oh no! Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh no. Zero, yeah. It's like the printed scar. I like they're pretty cool, highly recommend. I know they, they spawn you and everything now, don't they? I notice on your videos. Like that's it's pretty legit, man. Uh I'm not sure how will the zero work with a lot more barrel porting muzzle break. Alright. Yeah, definitely uh, curious to hear how that goes. Uh Katana's are really nice. It was, my my main one of my main concerns with the katana mags is their um, durability. So I was actually asking the guys from Hack, uh, who put them through their paces recently at a game, uh, how they felt in terms of durability and how they performed and everything. And they said they they played with them pretty 
aggressively. Uh, get on there. Yes, one down. All right, how many are we putting on here? Put on add Anne. When somebody says Anne, I assume that means what? So we're going with one, even though there's more in here. So this assembly aside temporarily while the glue dries. So we're going to set that aside temporarily while the glue dries. Okay. Can you give it a paint job? Zuckerberg, it's already got a paint job. I mean, it's already fabulous. Look at all them colors. Oh, yeah. So this is the piece we need. Use a rectangular file or knife to remove any scragglies or hair. Right, we've got a knife. So, this, I don't know if you guys can see any better here. That little guy. A little poking out. Gotta get rid of that. Come on. Here. Inside the mag. Well, I need to get this knife sharpened so bad. This is the knife I used in the video yes yesterday. Just it's don't buy cold steel cold steel knives, everybody. Just don't. For real, the hack the hack guys are. I love watching their games. I really want to get over there at some point and uh, and nerf with them. Definitely, Phil. I I actually went through and did that a little while back. Just because it's it's pretty awesome. I really should have grabbed a hand file. Really, really should have. Would have been smart. Um, I have some sandpaper here. Grab some of that, but it's not. It's it's a hundred grit. It's not uh, super fine. Just just want to make sure it's not too bad. Love Jordan loves the katana mag system. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just love the way they look. I'm just curious and looking forward to hear how they perform over time for everybody else. <sighs> yeah, Brad, they all like they all rep the same kind of look and it has this like competitive feel to it, which you guys know I am all about like like the competitive aspect of things. Um, so it totally gets me and like with what I'm trying to do here with the 5v5s. All right, so we need to mag what we're indicated. That is clear. That is clear. Insert long pins. Long pins. Hey, this does not look like, oh, but this must be a long pin, yeah? This little guy here. Okay. Can insert. Can insert. And it's the only place it matters. Okay. Try to get in on the next Jet Reviewers Conference in February. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know that I can afford to go all the way there to pay my way, but that's pretty cool that they're, uh, they're taking you. Or they invited you, that's awesome, dude. Uh, if you remove an O-ring for decreased performance. Yeah, I thought that was really cool, the different ways that you can kind of like tune the blaster, as it were, with this, uh, this uh oh All right, February was competitive enough for Singapore. Yeah, I mean, Hat used uh, uses this caliber every so often in his videos. All right, so what do we, so we need an extension spring. Are these all the same extension springs? It looks like it. So, and a long pin that I just put away. Okay. Go like this. And it goes through here. Okay. 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 Let's make sure we get through the spring. We did. Boom. There we go. Now what holds this in place? Like literally nothing holds this in place unless we glue this in. Right? Am I am I crazy? Trying to brag it in nice. Metal bolts, so yeah. 
Hello, future. Why, hello there, past. All right, uh, mag release is, I believe, this guy. Shoo. Oh, I let go of it, and it's in there. Oh, mag release to pull small part out. Work with me, yes. Yes. So this goes in like this. Yes. With another pin. I don't know why my voice is raising. Test fit. Test mag fit for easiest to sand now. All right, it's not a bad point. Not a bad point. Uh, get in the hole. Where is the hole? I suppose that would help. Yeah. Oh, um, we've lost. We've lost the the spring. No. Come on. So to be gentle while installing springs. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, why are you? Are these not lined up all, all of a sudden? Or is it? Oh. No. That hole is totally fine. Why? Why are you being this way? Why are you being this way, Fabu Burn? I just, I just want to build you. I just want to love you. I just want to shoot darts through you. Is it, is it really not? It's really not. Oh, it's not. Okay. This hole on the other side is... Trixie. You Trixie. Just try and push our way through. There we go. All right. That's a bit better. And get this little ridge off of excess plastic. Uh, try to make a thousand to two thousand FPS Nerf blaster. How to? I I don't know that I ever would, Nolan. Like it's just going to destroy darts at that point, don't you think? You're not going to be able to effectively utilize it on the field. And some, I mean, people have made like crazy rigs using like crazy amounts of gas pressure or, or air pressure and stuff like that. So. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I would. Uh, you're, you're good now, right? You're good. Yay, we're in there. All right. Now to. Oh, okay. Except. Did I? Oh, I'm. Botched it up, everybody. I done mucked it up. It needs to needs to go like that. Ah, logic. I suppose it helps if I put things in the proper direction. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Uh, so after it's over. Uh, yeah, this this will go up on the channel. I may do a little bit of editing to it, but uh, this will go up on the channel. So if someone needs to leave or something like that, you know, you'll you'll still be able to to catch back up if you so desire. Okay, so I think that's I think that's right now. Now I put the spring back in, or just drop it. I mean, that's just kind of the same as putting the spring back in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, progress. Progress. Oh, this is going to suck. All right. Uh, so I need to pull this spring onto that little loop. Ah! Work with me. Oh, and it's already fallen off. Okay. Okay, that's great. That's great. All right, looks like part of this print did not... Oh, and we lost... And we lost one of the pins. Why, why you do this? Why you do this? Uh, I got a scar. I don't have a scar at the moment. But I'm hoping to buy one from Heath, who is working on a design that I find interesting. 
Uh, how do you get the comments to overlay? So I use Streamlabs. Streamlabs is a program or a website that has like widgets and such. Get on there. Are you on there? Kind of on there. I don't know if that's going to stay because of the I mean, because the way this print happened. I don't know if that's going to stick where it's supposed to. I hope it stays there. Ooh, ooh, it feels nice though. Oh, I like that. I like that. So I missed a little bit of chat while I was figuring that out. Uh, David, thank you so much. I, if you're if you're if you're still here, thank you so much for the kind words. I really do appreciate that. Build the thing, insert the stuff into other things, lube the part, screw the bit, all the things, Bobo, all the things. Uh, top-down filming. I really, I'm really happy. I need to refine this a little bit because I feel like I'm often like this when I'm focusing on something. I need, I need to get comfortable with being here when I'm focusing. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. 12 inch guard. It's only six. It's only six, Flagonio. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but like part of the print is like off and I, I kind of squished it to get this to fit. But... Uh, it's like it's not it's not quite proper. I hope that's not going to be an issue. It shouldn't be, I don't think. This is barrel porting. Yeah, it's people people this is something people have been trying for a while. I know uh Thundercrunk over here was trying it with his um, his bow for quite a while. Paul looks great, the video, awesome. I'm glad to hear that, Bobo, thank you. I Something like, I was trying to sort it out and get it to look where I wanted it to, look the way I wanted it to earlier. Uh, pull the remaining loop, apply super glue in the open holes in both sides of the mag well to prevent the long pits from falling out with the glue dry. Okay, before we do that, I really want to figure out what to do about this, this part here. It's, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's going to have to be the way it is. Um, okay. This is an important reminder onto why you always check your 3D printed parts before you start using them and make sure they are uh, clean and everything. And, you know, proper. When drill the barrel, I'd get the next size up brass. The funnest jigsaw puzzle. You know, that might be a good way to put it. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely interesting, Blazer Tech. Uh, Dean, man, I hope I hope you're having a good day. We're actually, it's funny, we're, we're talking about scar barrels right now, which you have some experience with and, and have one of the more interesting scar barrels that I really like. Come on. A dab will do ya. Get in there. Get in the hole. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, clean this up a bit. Using scraps of other things. Okay. Fingers crossed. Nails are on point. Ah, they're a bit long. They're a bit long. I don't mind like a little bit, but I actually was thinking I needed to, to clip them. Now, if my nails were were painted right now, then I would agree they are on point. But they are not painted at the moment. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. Or a lot of bit of glue. I mean, that's, you know, kind of the same thing, right? A little bit, a lot of bit. It's only a couple letters difference. Uh, Supa, I have painted them like a pastel Miku. If you know about Vocaloids, I've done Miku, uh, Miku O, the male version, uh, a few months ago. And actually, when I was streaming a while, I had them that color because I, I didn't feel like taking it off. All right, so we let this sit. We let this sit for a while. This goes back over here. Steven, what's up? 
Oh, is everyone saying, ah, I see, I see. All right, so more important Scarborough is the fact the strings center the dart. There's a lot of different theories on why certain things work, and uh, I'm just glad they do work. What I do know is they do spin the darts. They do spin the darts. Ooh, that autofocus, though. Oof, that was bad. I want to try the white worker darts. We have some coming. Set aside to dry, and we have to use this, this piece right away. Okay, okay, I see how it is. I see what you're doing to me. Let's see what's going on. Is the, let me know, chat, is the autofocus messing up for you guys? Is it, is it acting up? Because if it is, I can turn it off. Um, it helps when I bring things up to the camera, but I think I'm going to turn it off because it, it bothers me when it freaks out like that. It just doesn't look good. So let me turn that off. Now I can I can do all I can be up in your face and it doesn't go crazy. So many th it's true, it's true, Bobo. So many theories. I think that's part of the interesting thing is we have all these different ideas and thoughts and uh, things like that that yeah you know, we, we then get to experiment to find out. Um, all right. No. Well, I guess, um, I guess we're done for the night. That's awkward. That's super awkward. Uh, Huh. Yeah. We just broke our uh, trigger, our, our mag release. That is, that's not good. That is not good at all. Well. <laughs> 